was able to lay out a plan, you know, to make health care wellness intervention, manage diseases, to be able to be able to do things that are going to hold down administrative costs and use that money to keep all the uninsured. And then, of course, my passion is is to eliminate breast cancer because for your mother, for my my mother-in-law, my wife, and my children, but more importantly, my three granddaughters. Who, you know, when you look at my family lineage, you know, mother-in-law, wife, daughter, it doesn't look good for my three granddaughters. That's why I'm saying 2015. If we declare war on breast cancer, we can absolutely come up with a cure by 2015. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, just recently, my aunt was also diagnosed with it. Well, she'll know what I'm talking about. about. It's, yeah. it's an insidious disease, and too many women are plagued by it across the world. It is, it is. And I was wondering if you had time for just a quick autograph here, too. Just Signing, can I ask you a question? Real quick, we're going to ABC News uh, now next. <laughs> yes, sir. Quick question. Governor, did you feel today that you were, Thank you know, you so much. Thank you. were able to kind of help elevate your uh, presence here? Absolutely, I was because uh, they finally started asking some questions on health care, and I think, you know, that allowed me to differentiate myself from everybody else. I know health care, and most Republicans, you know, shy away from it, and that's time that we start talking about it, and I think by far and away, I'm the one that's the most knowledgeable about it, and several of the candidates came up and said that, you know, we're glad you're here because you really know health care.